that Bitcoin is one of the hottest cryptocurrencies out there. In fact, it's known as the grandfather of cryptocurrencies. But Bitcoin as a payment solution hasn't quite seen mass adoption just as yet. Although one could argue that countries like El Salvador have adopted Bitcoin as legal tender and several others are likely to follow suit. One of the reasons Bitcoin hasn't taken off as a payment solution as yet is because of its high transaction fees and slow throughput. Bitcoin's network handles a mere seven transactions per second as compared to your Visa card, which is at about 65,000 transactions per second. Now that's not quite the same thing, is it? But change is coming. In fact, it's already here with Bitcoin's Lightning Network, a second layer technology that's built on top of the network that uses micropayment channels to scale the blockchain's capability. Now, I know that's a mouthful, right? In super simplified terms, think of the Bitcoin network as a slow blockchain, which is decentralized and needs consensus from all the nodes, and hence takes time to confirm the transactions and it's inefficient and expensive, especially for small day-to-day -day transactions. We are building a new layer on top of this chain, so it's off the main chain, off the main ledger and two or more parties are opening accounts and funding it so they can trade back and forth. You buy your groceries, pay some bills, receive some payment. And this is exactly what the Lightning Network is, a payment channel to alleviate the issues with Bitcoin's blockchain. These transactions are then updated on the main blockchain only when the two parties decide to close this channel. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Let's say Alice opens a Lightning Network channel with her favorite coffee shop and deposits rupees 10,000 in it. Now she's got a direct channel and her transactions with the coffee shop are instant. Similarly, we have Bob who has a channel with his grocery store and also has a channel open with the same coffee shop that Alice visits. Because of this connection between Alice, Bob and the coffee shop, Alice is now able to use her funds to make purchases at the grocery store Bob frequents. Similarly, Bob too can use his balance to conduct transactions with Alice's network. In this manner, a web of transactions is created and routed through multiple Lightning nodes. As with most technologies, the Lightning network has its share of critics, who argue that the network is prone to attacks, to the fact that some nodes can get so centralized that a failure at any of those nodes can lead to the network crashing. Nevertheless, it's still early days, and we can definitely expect plenty of use cases in the times to come. Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you've got a decent understanding of what Lightning Network is. I'll see you next week.